hey basketball players. So today I'm vlogging my day. I wanted to show you guys what I do in a day and everything that comes with it. Right now, I am on my way to a workout, which I'm gonna be doing up in Boynton Beach, Florida. Super excited about that. Don't know what it's gonna be like, how many kids are gonna be there, but it's just another opportunity to be a trainer, to help players get better, and I'm super excited about it. I'll let you guys know how it goes after. The question of the day is, should you focus more on quality or quantity when talking about basketball training? Now, this seems like it's a simple question, but it's a lot more complicated than you guys might think. So when we think about quality versus quantity, we typically think we're giving up something. If we have quantity, we're definitely not gonna be giving as much quality, or if we have quality, we might not be able to do as many. But ultimately, I would say quality over quantity. I think that you should have quality reps in practice, no matter what. I'm the type of basketball trainer and person who watches basketball and coaches basketball to know that if you are going to the court and you are just shooting around lazily and you are not working out with that type of effort, attention to detail that you need, then you're not gonna be getting better. For instance, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to love to dunk a basketball when I was like fifth or sixth grade. I loved to put my basketball goal at home down to like seven and a half feet so I could get up and I could dunk it. I did that a lot of the time. But then when the real game came around, we were playing on 10 foot goals. So all that work that I was putting in, yes, it was fun, but it was not getting me better. I might have been saying I was practicing outside when in reality, I was just trying to dunk on a short basket, shoot on a short basket, which developed bad habits and made me a worse basketball player or didn't really help me improve. So really quality is way more important than quantity. When you're doing basketball drills, I want you to be able to get the footwork down and do it with attention to detail. Walk through things until you can do it correctly. Don't focus on doing something because you need to get these reps in. I need to get these reps in. I need to do this and this and this and this and this. It's like, yes, that comes after you get everything down. After you get the drills down, after you get everything correct, that's when you can start putting in more and more quantity. You need to be able to get the things down first. You need to be able to get your in and out snatchback footwork down first before you can start really repping it out and getting a lot of reps in. Quantity is only as good as the quality that you have. So make sure that all your reps, everything that you do is quality. You don't have quality, you're not getting better. Sorry to say it. Now there does come a point though when quantity comes into the equation. Kobe didn't shoot 500 shots a day for no reason. He was putting in the quality reps in large quantities. If you can do that, and they go hand in hand, that's where you're gonna be able to push yourself to that next level and really get an advantage on everybody else. When your quality meets larger volumes of quantity, that's when you're really gonna start getting better. So if you're dead halfway through the workout and you start going halfway during your drills, you're not putting in the quality reps that you need, so you might as well stop hooping at that moment. That's my opinion. Now, does that mean you should give up for the whole day and say, ah, you know, I'm not just, I'm just not feeling it today? Well, no, you should go back later and try again. But if you're not doing anything quality, you're gonna be developing bad habits. So make sure that you guys take your quality to heart, put your reps in, then start building on the quantity, getting more and more reps in of certain things, and that's where the growth is gonna continue to happen. Are you guys we'll see you guys after this workout i'm gonna get changed and let's hope this workout goes crazy let's get it y'all check this out i don't know if you guys can really see it but there's a bunch of bugs on my windshield man kind of. really jabbing my foot, I'm leaning in this direction so that the defender thinks I'm going that way, right? After I lean this way, I'm going to pick up my right foot and now I'm jabbing this way. So I 
just finished the training sessions right now. It was good. We had eight kids in there. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much. Uh, me and another coach put some work in, but uh, as you guys saw, we did a little bit of work. So super excited about that. But uh, message for today's video, like always, make sure you guys put in quality reps. If you don't put in quality reps, you're not going to be getting better. So make sure that you guys get your quality reps in every single day in your work and that way you'll be getting better. It doesn't matter if you put in five hours a day, if you're only putting in work for an hour. The other four hours don't matter. Things that matter is the quality, not the quantity. It's not the hours you put in, it's what you put in those hours. Make sure you guys keep that in mind at your next workout. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content like this. Leave video ideas in the comments for me, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you.